Hey guys, so this is a quick video on how I fixed my uh, Aqua One canister filter. Had a bit of a leak in it and it all works now. So this is a quick video on how I did it. So I have strapped the pump up as best as I can. It had a little bit of a leak down there. But now I can clearly see that there is something coming from there. Like I thought. Uh, you can see it swirling around in it. So I'm gonna have to untake this one and silicon it back down and hopefully stop this from happening. So now we just gotta take this apart, uh, dry it out and silicon it and then wait and then put it back together. Finding music for these parts of these videos is starting to get really hard so I'm just gonna use my voice. <laughs> So I'm not sure what this is supposed to look like, but I'm just going to cake it in silicon. And hopefully that will stop all of this leaking and I can use this filter finally. So now that I've kind of dried both of them, you can clearly see that there has been space here and it has formed up some gunk. So I'm almost 100% certain that is what is leaking and if I can fix that just by siliconing this that'll be great because I really didn't want to have to throw this one out but that is why you always take them apart and check that it's not cracks or anything else that you can't fix so it'll be cool if I can use this um, I'm pretty excited to see if this works so now all we gotta do is silicon everything and put it all together. Just kidding. Now we just gotta wait a few days and hopefully the silicon will set and it'll all be good. But this is why you don't throw out things when they're a little bit broken. I know it can be cheaper just to buy new things, but it's so wasteful and there's no point in just throwing everything out. But anyway, I will keep you guys up to date with that. In a couple of days, I'll finish this video. I got it plumbed back in and filled up with water. Now I'm just gonna plug it in and see how it goes. So later on, I'll turn it back off and stop the flow and see if it starts leaking again. So I left it overnight, I turned it off and turned it on throughout the day yesterday and I'm pretty sure that this is fixed and I am stoked to say that this filter is no longer leaking. So that is our big thumbs up moment. So thank you guys for watching, that is the end of this video. It is a success and it works, it no longer leaks which I'm incredibly happy about because that filter's been lying around for a while and it was something so simple to fix. So if you do come across a problem, maybe just try and uh, figure it out and just work your way around the problems and maybe you might get something out of it because I mean like they're they still $200 a filter. Just remember, don't be so wasteful, try and fix things. So thank you for watching and have a good day.